Hi, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. I have been a dental professional now for about 17 years, and I do have my own mobile dental hygiene practice. But in this video, I want to talk to you guys about three different ways to whiten the teeth and which ones actually work better. Some of these answers might surprise you, and I'm going to explain why. And this is coming from a dental professional. So if anybody knows about teeth, it's us. So let me just share my screen here because I have a couple different things that I want to show you guys. So here we go, guys. Sorry, bear with me for a moment. There we go. So can you guys see my screen okay here? Okay, so three different things that I want to talk about, and that is using whitening toothpaste, um, using whitening trays to apply at home or professionally applied. So this is what I want to talk to you guys about. So whitening trays. So you might notice those trays on Amazon, trays you can purchase from the store. Usually these trays come with the form of peroxide. But what you must know is over the counter, legally, they cannot sell a very high strength of peroxide. There's different types. There's hydrogen peroxide and there's carbamide peroxide. Over the counter, you cannot sell carbamide peroxide in most locations. So you're getting hydrogen peroxide, which will maybe be 1% at the most, maybe 2%, it's hard to say, but that will whiten the teeth, just so you know. But in these kits that you buy from the store or online, they do not include desensitizers. What's a desensitizer? A desensitizer helps to prevent against cold sensitivity for the teeth. You need a desensitizer. Have you heard of those people telling you, I whitened my teeth, my teeth were so sensitive, oh my God, never do it again. It's because they did not have a desensitizer with the product or whoever applied it professionally didn't apply a desensitizer first. So these trays do not include a desensitizer. So you're applying straight hydrogen peroxide onto the teeth, only 1%. But the thing about that is your teeth are going to be extremely cold sensitive and also the whitening's not going to work very well. It does make the teeth whiter because it's straight hydrogen peroxide. There's no desensitizer in it. There's other things in it too, but more so just that 1% hydrogen peroxide to make the teeth whiter, but the white doesn't last. As soon as you eat something, drink something, give it a couple days, the stain comes back. You need a combination of the two peroxides for it to actually work. Carbamide peroxide helps the whitening last. So hydrogen peroxide in a nutshell brings the white to the teeth. It eliminates stain. The carbamide peroxide helps to give that boost of the whitening and prevents further stain from coming back. Kind of like a good hair conditioner for your hair. If you're not using a good hair conditioner, your hair color is not going to last. It's the same thing. Now, moving on, you guys, to toothpaste. So I have a picture here of the charcoal powder toothpaste. This is the trend. This is what everybody wants. Let me let you in on a little secret here. Charcoal powder is extremely messy. If you haven't heard that yet, people are not telling you this. It's extremely messy. I do not recommend charcoal for your teeth. Charcoal is not made for your teeth. What does charcoal do? Even if you quickly look it up online, it gets rid of toxins, okay? Sounds great, sounds awesome. But what does that mean? That means um, related to your teeth. It's going to get rid of the good and the bad. I say the good and the bad, meaning it's going to get rid of stain. It's going to get rid of the natural oils your teeth have. It's going to get rid of the calcium, those protective coatings on your teeth from the toothpaste. So it gets rid of the good, it gets rid of the bad. So you might be saying, awesome. So it's gonna get rid of the stain, right? That sounds pretty cool. It does get rid of the stain, but but it gets rid of everything else too. So stain actually comes back quicker and easier after using a charcoal toothpaste. So you have to keep using it for it to actually work and your teeth do look whiter because it's getting rid of the stain, but it's bad for your teeth. So you have to keep using a charcoal on your teeth to whiten them, but there's no 
protectiveness. It's not keeping the teeth clean. It's not protecting the teeth from, you know, acids, sugars, things you eat, drink. I said acidity. It's, it could actually cause cavities. It could make the teeth more sensitive because you're literally stripping away your teeth's natural oils. Did you know your teeth have natural oils? Yes, they do. It could even make your cracks in your teeth, if you have any more obvious. If you have stain inside the tooth, we have such a thing called intrinsic stain and extrinsic stain, it can make it more obvious. So you have to keep using it. Not a good idea. Please do not buy charcoal toothpaste. And as I said, it can cause cavities, not cause cavities, but if you're eating sugar, you need a protective toothpaste to protect against cavities and charcoal toothpaste does not offer any protection. So please don't buy it. I said it. Um, the third one is professionally applied. So I'm not just saying that I highly recommend this because I'm a dental professional, but this is why it's different. We apply desensitizers to your teeth so your teeth are not sensitive. If you've heard of some people getting their teeth whitened at a dental office before, it was, and their teeth were cold sensitive. It was because the dental professional did not apply a desensitizer. There are different products on the market that are better than others. I personally, I have my own dental hygiene practice. There's a certain product that I use, a certain company that I will only order from because their teeth whitening products are all natural. They are um, gluten-free. They are um, vegan and they have a desensitizer built in. So your teeth are not sensitive and they include both hydrogen peroxide and carbamide peroxide together. And just to give you guys a different and to know the differences of the percentages and why a professional whitening treatment works so much better is at the store I had mentioned, any kits you can buy over the counter, their hydrogen peroxide percentage is probably 1%. When you go to a dental professional, you can get as high as 44%. 22% to 44% is typical. Um, if you have thin enamel, if you're like really, really worried about cold sensitivity, your teeth are kind of white to begin with, but you just kind of want a boost. We do have a 16% as well, but that's still a big difference than the 1%, right? So I highly recommend getting your teeth whitened by a dental professional because one, it actually works. Your teeth stay white for six months. It doesn't matter if you, you know, smoke, coffee, tea, your teeth will stay white for six months. If you have a lot of habits that cause stains, such as coffee, tea, and smoking, we might suggest a, a like a refill at home um, whitening pen to use once a month for like 15 minutes a day just to touch it up. But typically the results can last six months without doing anything. They can even last longer. And we apply a desensitizer so your teeth will not be sensitive. And you're having your teeth whitening product applied by a dental professional. So you know it's safe, you know it is FDA approved. And if anything goes wrong, if your teeth are sensitive, you're feeling uncomfortable, you want your teeth even whiter, we know what to do. We are here to help you. You can't get that same treatment from an at-home kit that you buy from the store. So I hope this helps you guys. Please let me know if any questions Teeth whitening is definitely a trend. You've probably heard all kinds of things out there. Don't try anything like sucking on lemons, applying peroxide directly to the teeth. I've heard all kinds of things. Don't do it. Your teeth, you only get the one set. You, you get your baby teeth and then your adult teeth. Okay, I could go into that. But you only get one set. Once you ruin them, they're gone. So take care of your teeth and whitening is safe. It does work if, if applied by a dental professional. So let me know you guys have any questions. Thank you guys so much for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.